Okay, so um, good morning again. I'm going to quickly uh, present some slides which show pot potential linkages between the CLME Plus project and CMA2. Um, so, of course, it mostly relates to development objective two of CMA, uh, which is the sustainable management of shared living marine resources. Um, the new project we are currently developing would have uh, five components. Um, the first one is work that will be done on strengthening the governance arrangements. So it's looking at institutional mandates, the collaboration among institutions, trying to strengthen that collaboration, trying to check the mandates, etc. The second component is to build the capacity within these institutions under the governance arrangements so that they can better fulfill their role. And with these governance arrangements strengthened and the capacity of the people working within these institutions strengthened as well, it should then be able to demonstrate ecosystem-based management and the ecosystem approach to fisheries through a series of demonstration projects. Uh, we know that we want to help the region moving forward to full implementation of EBM EAF, but we have limited resources. So under the project, we will need to focus on demonstration, but at the same time, we also want to conduct feasibility studies under component four, so that we can then identify uh, financial needs and also already start to identify potential donors that can help us with the upscaling of the demonstrations that have taken place under component three. All the work under these different components and the work to support the implementation of the SAP, of course, would need to be monitored through a region-wide SAP implementation monitoring and evaluation uh, component of the project. Specifically under, out, under component one, we have the different outputs which we think are of relevance for CMA2. Um, at the regional level, we would establish an interim coordination mechanism to support the implementation of the SAP, so that's bringing together the different regional organizations, many of them which are represented here at this meeting. We would also work on agreements on data policies and data management uh, measures to support the implementation of the SAP. And at the national level, we would support the development of intersectorial coordination mechanisms. Because if we want uh, to truly implement EBM EAF, we will want fisheries, environment, and other uh, sectors to work together. Under component two then, we will develop regional action plans to deal with key issues such as illegal, unregulated, and unreported fishing, habitat restoration, pollution, etc. We will also work on the identification of best or good practices for data information management, and innovative technologies and tools to support awareness building, stakeholder empowerment, decision making. We will work on a communication strategy and the implementation of the strategy, and we will conduct targeted training of stakeholders. Under component three then, this is a more complex component, which is currently still in the development, but at least we have the preliminary ideas that we would have demonstration projects on the ecosystem approach for fisheries for spiny lobster, for flying fish and for the shrimp and the ground fish fisheries, but we will also want to implement one or two demonstration projects on ecosystem-based management. That means bringing together fisheries issues with pollution, with habitat protection or habitat restoration, etc. Um, all the demonstration projects would need to be guided by the governance effectiveness assessment framework I showed in my previous intervention, which means that there would need to be a decision support system for the implementation of the EBM EF approach, which of course means that there is a potential for a linkage with CMA2 here. Uh, component five then, under component five, we want to establish a broader partnership among the different regional organizations to help implementing the SAP. This could be linked to the establishment of a CMA2 partnership. Uh, we want to develop a collaborative monitoring evaluation mechanism for SAP implementation, which again needs to be fed by data, which can be linked therefore to CMA2. And through that monitoring and evaluation mechanism, we would want to support the region in its efforts to develop a state of the marine ecosystems and associated resources kind of periodic publication slash web portal. This in part corresponds to a mandate that UNEPSEP has under the Cartagena Convention for the environmental parts, 
We also want to look with the fisheries bodies to see how they could provide input for the fisheries resources related part of this state of kind of publication and web portal. And also in this context, of course, we believe there are uh, strong possible linkages with CMA2, but also with many of the other initiatives and projects from different of the partners that are represented here. I think, for example, Conservation International, the Ocean Health Index, etc., etc., etc. And that's mostly it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. So.